Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again. And in this video, we are gonna be taking a look at this little beauty, the Ducky Year of the Rat Edition. I could not be more excited for this release. I mean, just look at this thing. The package itself is an absolute work of art. I mean, the best packaging I think I've ever seen come on a keyboard. It's absolutely stunning, which makes me super hopeful for what we're gonna see on the inside. Now, this is gonna be more of an unboxing and video where I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the ride. We're gonna check it out. We'll uh, sprinkle some B-roll in here and there, but I think because, I mean, this is a Ducky 1-2 Mini with some minor technical tweaks and variations, so I don't think that warrants a full dedicated review, but nonetheless, this keyboard definitely deserves to be shown off. So with that, let's open this thing up and check it out. Secret Lab combines best-in-class materials, a plethora of finish options, and industry-leading comfort to provide the ultimate seating experience. With models for users of all sizes and aesthetic tastes, there's sure to be a chair for any setup. Click the link in the description to find out which chair is right for you. So, like I mentioned, I mean, if you've seen the packaging of the regular Ducky 1-2 Mini, already a massive step up, not only in terms of just the visuals and the graphics, but even the quality of the construction, it really feels like a much more premium package here. You can see, um, just right off the bat, we've got a little card here talking about Bounce, who is a graffiti artist from Taiwan. He's the guy who's responsible for all of the artwork that's on this year's uh, Year of Edition from Ducky. And I think this is definitely the best one that they've done yet because of just the personality that this art style brings to it is by far more than they've ever had on any of the other ones. So uh, let's start this off here. You can see a lot of goodies thrown in on this one here. Now this is a $200 package, so it's about twice the price of a regular 1-2 Mini, although as you can see, everything that we're gonna get in here, not only is it worth it from just a value standpoint, but from a collector's uh, standpoint as well, there's just a lot to like about this package. So the first thing we've got here is a desk mat to go with the keyboard, and just take a look at this thing. Whew. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Same artwork that we have on the cover of the box. And to have this paired with the keyboard is just really, really nice. I can't wait to use this in some videos as well because that's just such a cool looking graphic on there. I love this sort of street art, art style that they have going on. And if we, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the keyboard. I was gonna save it, but I'm too excited, so. Whatever, let's just check it out now. Ooh, I mean, look at this thing. It's so good. I mean, we look at previous versions of Ducky's Year Of keyboards and they all have such a cool, unique aesthetic, but I feel like this one really takes it to a whole nother level. So taking a quick look around the keyboard, on the back here, we've got that same gorgeous graphic that we got on the box and on the mouse mat. You've got your limited edition badge here, which gives you, this is number 513 out of 2020. So not a lot of these keyboards available. And coming around here, um, we've got just, I mean, just look at this gorgeous gray and green colorway with the little purple accents. We do have here up on the top of the case, this cool little like bubble graffiti letter, letter uh, ducky logo up here. And that's gonna be also uh, shown up on the packaging there as well. But super cool little pop. And when we come over to the actual meat of the keyboard, one thing I really like is that the letters have this sort of like sharpied on look to them on all the alphanumerics, which I think is just a really cool, big, bold art style. These are die sublimated PBT keycaps, so we don't have any shine through on them, but I actually kind of like that on a board like this because I feel like having bright LEDs shining through the keycaps can take away from some of that aesthetic. Same with like your big um, SA profile keycap sets and stuff like that. I actually sometimes prefer it when we don't have that. And all these modifiers here too are just so unique with their own touch. I really like some of these, like the little speech bubbles on alt and control, the little bounce mouse peeking out through the window in your windows keys. I mean, just all this little unique pop thrown in there, which I feel like this keycap set alone uh, is gonna make some of that value up right away on this keyboard. And even looking around the casing, this is a newer casing than we've seen on the Ducky 1-2 Mini. 
Got these sort of more aggressive angular cutouts to the, the chassis of the keyboard. This one is plastic. I was kind of hoping for a metal one like we see with the Mecha Mini variations, but either way, it's a more sturdy plastic than we see with like the traditional um, white and black two-tone kind of smashed together um, plastic chassis that we get with the, the Ducky 1 2 Mini that can have that flex where they meet. Don't see that here, so that's nice to see too. And I mentioned some minor technical changes on this board. It does have a hot swappable PCB this time, which is super nice um, because personally, I'm not a huge fan of cherry switches. I like a heavier tactile switch and the more standard cherry options that Ducky offers doesn't really have anything like that. No clears or, you know, something like, like that. So I like that on this one, I can swap it out and throw some holy pandas or, you know, something like that in there, which is something I think I will definitely do. Although, Honestly, I don't even know if I wanna use this keyboard, it's so pretty. I may just have this as like a display piece in my collection. I'm actually working on building a whole wall of keyboards that I'm sure I'll feature on this channel at some point. And this is definitely gonna be one of the more prized uh, pieces in that collection. I've still got the removable USB-C on the back and it's got the same two-step extendable legs here on the chassis. And other than those few minor changes, this one does have a, a purple PCB but you're not really gonna see that. So even though it does tie in with the aesthetic, unless you're popping out all the switches and stuff, it's cool to have, but we're not really gonna notice too much about it there. But yeah, this thing is just, I mean, it's a killer looking board. Uh, quickly looking at what else we've got in the box. We've got a little uh, green ducky keycap puller here, the wired puller. And then we also have the uh, doubled switch puller and um, keycap puller, which is nice there for the hot swap. Same uh, simple black rubber cable. And then we've got a little ducky keychain with a little switch tester. And I'm not sure if this comes with the same version of switch that you get on your board or if it's always gonna be a blue. This one's a Cherry MX Blue because this is the Cherry MX Blue version of this keyboard. Uh, we've got a couple of novelty keys thrown in here as well. These are shine through. So you could use these on a different keyboard if you wanted to or if you just wanted to have them as like a pop of extra flair on your Year of the Rat keyboard. Uh, what we've got here is you've got this cool, I like that this one's like a bright orange color and you've got the bounce mouse on there. Um, and so, you know, you could put this on like an escape key for like that extra pop, I think would look pretty cool. You got this like skull and crossbones bounce mouse logo and then a bounce graffiti logo keycap. So you could slap these on, you know, where you wanna have them or put them on a different board really cool shine through novelty keycaps, which is nice to see thrown in the box as well. Again, if you wanna get one of these keyboards, there's not a lot available. And honestly, as of recording this video, I don't even know if you can still get them anymore. I do know that there were some available to pre-order. I know mechanicalkeyboards.com has them on their website, although they haven't opened it up for either the pre-orders or for purchasing, and I'm not sure what that allocation may be. It may already be sold out, I don't know, but I will link to it down below for those of you that want a chance to grab one of these. If you do wanna pre-order them, I recommend you do it last week if possible. I mean, ASAP, jump on it and uh, pre-order one of these because these are, are pretty damn awesome. If you're a fan of Ducky keyboards in any form or fashion or somebody who just really likes mechanical keyboards, whether you're an enthusiast or a collector, this is something that you definitely want to have in your collection. And I just want to take a second to say thank you to Ducky for sending one out to me. I really appreciate it. This thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at the detail on the space bar on this one. And Ducky's always had really cool, intricate space bars. And this one in particular, I just love the, like the art style and how they transition from the green on these modifiers to the gray in the middle, what we have here on the alphanumerics. And just the cool, like, just look of it with the skateboard and all that like street art style is something that I can definitely get behind on this one. Really, really like the look of this keyboard. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video to really show this keyboard off and give it the attention that it deserves. You know, I'm really excited to see the stuff that Ducky is doing right now with the really cool artistic direction that they took with this project and also your more limited edition runs like the Mecha Frozen Llama that they did and the more recent creator series that they did with mechanicalkeyboards.com. Love these more limited edition drops that they're doing. And now that they're adding hot swap capabilities to some of their keyboards is just bringing them to a whole nother level in my opinion. Because really hot swap was the only feature that I feel like 
their keyboards were lacking after they integrated the metal cases on the newer releases of their keyboards. So if they keep doing this kind of stuff and doing more of these really cool limited runs and keep doing the hot swap and this kind of stuff, my wallet is going to take a massive, massive hit. <laughs> but I mean, I'm really excited for this and I'm excited for the future of Ducky. Again, big thank you to the folks over at Ducky for sending one over to me to check out, to show off to all of you guys, because I know this is something you genuinely will enjoy seeing. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I'd love to see you subscribed. Let me know what you think about Ducky's Year of the Rat Edition keyboard. But as always guys, stay safe out there, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.